A local pet store is under scrutiny once again. Puppy Land being accused of not only pushing confusing finance terms, but a local organization says they have a problem with where the store is getting their puppies from. Q13's Hannah Kim went digging for answers. We first told you about Puppy Land back in 2019 after a puppy leasing controversy. Back then, the company said they decided not to lease puppies anymore. But today, more people from the community are coming forward, saying they have other concerns. For one Renton family, it was love at first sight. My daughter wouldn't leave um, the little window that Luna was sitting behind. Um, she wouldn't stop playing with her, and I just, I had to get her. <laughs> So Jasmine Espina says she bought the German Shepherd from Puppy Land in Renton on a payment system with an interest rate of almost 99%. And they said that I shouldn't worry about that number. Jasmine says she was told if I she could pay, pay $6,000 for the puppy in two years, she wouldn't have to pay that high interest rate. But the next day, after talking to the lender, Jasmine says she found out it wasn't two years, but three months. How much information are they really getting in detail while they're in the store? Ashley right, Dale is right, with Bailing right, Out right. Benji, a nonprofit fighting against puppy mills. She says besides misleading payment systems, their biggest concern with Puppy Land is that they're allegedly getting them from puppy mills out of state. While Puppy Land necessarily hasn't broken the law, puppy mills are licensed and inspected occasionally, but um, the conditions that these animals are raised in are horrific. So dogs can legally be housed in a cage that's only six inches larger than their body. There's no breeding limits. Ashley says her organization has also received a handful of complaints about puppy land that has branches in Renton and Puyallup. 10 to 15 that have reached out regarding issues with their puppy like sickness um, or hereditary diseases. After we went inside Puppy Land for answers, a spokesperson for the company overall said they refute the claims. They said they would send us a statement, but Q13 News did not receive one in time for this broadcast. As for Jasmine, she says she had to get a lawyer to return the German Shepherd and get her money back. The Renton family says they are heartbroken over the whole ordeal. And my daughter was happy. She fell in love with her um, the second we said we were going to get her. In Renton, Hannah Kim, Q13 News.